Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this look right here. It's a very classic smoky eye nude lip. And I decided to extend my shadow out and my liner in to give it more of that elongated cat eye effect. And of course I paired it with a classic nude lip. So if you like this look and want to see how I got it, then please keep watching. Okay, for today's look, I'm using the Lorac Pro Palette, and I'm starting with a fluffy blending brush, and I'm taking taupe and mauve and just blending that into the crease as a transition shade. And then I'm going in with a smaller fluffy brush in the shade Deep Purple, and it looks more black applied to the eye, but any dark color you wanna use will do. And you'll see I am first drawing a line towards the tail of my brow and then directly back into my crease, creating a very dramatic V. And then I will start to slowly fill in and blend it towards the inner part of my lid. So just keep doing that back and forth until you have the shape and the intensity that you want. And then I went back with that first brush and started blending out the edges and then decided to pick up a little bit more of those transition colors to help blend it out so that there are no harsh lines. And then I took the color, I think it was called Pewter. It's like a, I don't know, grayish color and packed that all over my lid and then blended it in the crease and faded the two colors together so there's no harsh lines. And then I took the like white and cream colors in the palette and applied that to my brow bone. And then I went in with the NYX matte liquid liner and just kind of followed the edge of my shadow. It's a really good guideline if you struggle with wings and just created myself a nice wing. And I didn't do the inner cornea because I'm going to wait till after my concealer and all of that. So just make yourself as big or small of a wing as you would like. And then I'm on to concealer, and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige. And I'm just applying that to the center of my face as usual. And then, as always, blending it out with a damp beauty blender. Then I'm going to go in and set everything with the RCMA No Color Powder. I'm using a beauty blender to apply it under my eyes and then a brush for the rest of my face. And then we are back to the eyes. I am taking a dome brush and the two transition shades and I am just blending that underneath my lower lash line. And then I am taking a flat definer brush in that deep purple and applying that really close to the base of my lashes, mainly just on the outer half. And then go in and blend it out again. And then I'm extending the inner corner with the liner. I have a previous video I'll link down below where I did it much more close and in depth but just creating a little triangle on the inner tear duct to make your eyes appear more elongated. And then I'm running a black eyeliner in my waterline. This one is the Marc Jacobs one and I love it because it does not budge. And then these are the lashes I'm using. I think they're the House of Lashes and they style iconic just because they're longer towards the outer part. So it helps with the cat eye effect. And then I am bronzing up my face and I am using, what am I using here? I think it was the NYC Sunny Bronzer to bronze my face and then to contour, I'm using the Hula Bronzer from Benefit. And then those two blushes are MAC Melba and Makeup Geek Summer Fling, I believe. I will list it down below for sure. And then I'm using a cream highlight on the high points of my face. And then I'm taking the second shade from the Carly Bible palette and just applying that right on top.
And last but not least, this is the Tarte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Get It, and it's just a peachy nude color. You could do any color with this eye, bold or nude. I just opted for the classic nude. And then I'm gonna finish it all off with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And after that, this look is complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave any comments down below of looks you would like me to do, videos you would like to see, and hopefully I will see you on the next one. Bye.